Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a day in my life. It is currently Sunday. So as you guys probably know, there's gonna be lots of cleaning. I have to go grocery shopping, like the usual Sunday things, but I'm also going to be reorganizing my entire closet. I got a few things to help me with that. I'm also gonna be planning out my week and just getting ready for the week because I kind of, actually I had a really bad week last week. I didn't like accomplish much. I kind of got um in my head a little bit and it was a struggle so now we are going to prep and get ready for the next week and just get our minds and our environment on the right track to you know making a great week and hopefully getting out of this little funk that I'm feeling so yeah that's currently the plan it's a beautiful day outside I was sitting out here drinking some coffee um, it's also Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I actually spent time with my mom yesterday. I got a little sun, as you can tell, I'm a little burnt. I'm actually really burnt, really bad. Ugh. So, yeah, I had a really great time with her, and happy Mother's Day to everyone or any mother figures out there. I really appreciate all of you guys, and I honestly feel like moms are just the most powerful, amazing human beings ever, so it's a really great day, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started into the day. Real quick before we get started into the video, I just want to say thank you to today's sponsor, which is Gold Toe Socks. Now, Gold Toe is super, super impressive because they've been established in 1934, so they have eight decades worth of knowledge and experience to provide the best quality and most durable sock. They make sure that they place emphasis on comfort, moisture control, which helps protect with odors, abrasion protection, and also affordable prices. So you're literally getting attainable luxury. I really highly recommend these socks. They sent me over this beautiful box. Can we just appreciate the style of this box? I felt like the presentation is just so nice. Let's go ahead and open up and see what they sent me. Wow, so they sent me all of these beautiful socks. They're super high quality. They have like these long ones. They have the no-show socks. They have these super cute ones. Oh my God, I love these. They're very spring. They have these really cute fancy socks. I'm absolutely in love. Now, if you guys are like me and you probably thought that Gold Toe made like just men's socks, but they actually make more than men's socks. There are also women's socks available. You guys can use the promo code Renee Amberg for 30% off your purchase on the Gold Toe website. What I really like about these socks is they have arch support, so they're like the perfect fit and comfort. They have this little like stitching on the inside. If you guys are familiar with this, like right around your arch, so it's really nice. They don't slip off. They also have a technology called Aqua fx which is a moisture control technology they also have a deep y heel and a silicone grip so it avoids slip off they're just like really high quality socks for affordable prices which you really can't go wrong with they're also doing a giveaway for you guys all you have to do to enter into the giveaway is follow gold toe socks on instagram and post to either instagram facebook twitter or youtube with the hashtag socks talks hashtag sweepstakes and you guys can win your own assortment of gold socks and a 250 dollar amazon Amazon gift card. Thank you so much to Gold Toe for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna go ahead and reorganize my closet. I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with. It's kind of a disaster area. I actually have Sparky's crate over here because he's with my mom and my brother right now spending some weeks with them because they miss him. Um, so he's actually not here right now. I have first of all to clean but I'm also gonna get rid of a ton of things that I don't need. I really hate clutter and clothes that I don't need. Um, you guys know me, I'm like a minimalist before it was like cool. I never have ever anything in my closet. So yeah, that's kind of what we are working with today. Not too bad, but also not that great. I actually picked up a few things. I feel like these will definitely help. I ended up picking up this like standing cabinet um, with like three different drawers. I think there's three or four. I also got this hanger that will help hang belts because right now they just look so cluttered. I also picked up this. It's actually supposed to go right there next to my door um, because I don't have a place to put my keys or like my hats or anything like that. So that's definitely gonna help with that. And then I got a ton of new hangers. These are just the black velvet hangers from Amazon. Um, right now I just have those like simple, I'll show you, like these super ugly like plastic white hangers that are just kind of like, I don't know, ugly. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna start with is just getting all the clothes out and on my bed so that we can go through those and see like what I need and what I don't need. 
So here is the updated closet. I moved all my clothes over here to the left, so this is completely empty now. Got rid of a few shoes, cleaned, dusted, all that kind of thing. I ended up putting all of my clothes that needed to be hanged up here. So I have like spring dresses, like more formal dresses, um, some crop tops and tank tops and then it goes to shirts and then it goes to like long sleeve shirts more winter clothes and then a blazer and my robe on the very end pretty simple like i said i'm kind of a minimalist like not really but i mean i literally hate clutter so if i never wear something or a piece of clothing sits in my closet for like too long i'm just like get rid of it i don't want it so this is enough for me over here we have all of my gym clothes so <clears throat> these are like my gym tops crop tops tank tops short sleeves long sleeves and then jackets and then up here we have my workout shorts my cropped leggings and then my full length leggings as well as my workout hats over here we have my bathing suits hoodies are over here noah just gave me this welsh hoodie that i'm like ugh. So excited about i used to wear this all the time when we first started dating also i have all my pjs over here i have my gym bag and then i ended up putting all this together and this is like amazing i'll link it down below if you guys want to get it super inexpensive on amazon but i just put my shorts right here um actually this is kind of like my denim so there's like shorts and pants now that i'm thinking about it because this one is empty i'm gonna put the pants here shorts up here and then when the winter comes i'll switch them um, and then this one's my favorite drawer. So this is my sock drawer. I ended up getting rid of a ton of different socks now that Gold Toe gave me a whole bunch of their new socks. So I'm all refreshed in the sock department. I ended up putting all of my like regular socks here. And right here I have just more regular socks. And then I put the no show socks right here. And then all my cozy socks over in the back right corner. Another empty drawer, so that's exciting. I got rid of so much stuff that I have four empty like storage containers, which is always really nice. I have two huge donation containers and a ton of different trash ignore that and then this is what we have so far for the wall i ended up hanging up that key organizer that i got i just put my purse here some sunglasses my keys noah's gone but usually his keys are here um a lint roller and then this hat i ended up just putting on like a nail it's literally just a nail and i was like i don't know it just kind of looks good and then i moved this one over a little bit 
Now I kind of have to move this over, which by the way, I reorganized my living room again <laughs> because I don't know, I feel like this is like a better look um, for like the patio. So like when you're sitting here, you can look out into the patio instead of having like two couches side by side. I just felt like this flowed better. So now that that is done, I am probably gonna go ahead and go grocery shopping. I have a weekly grocery shop to do and then I'll come back and show you guys what I got. Do a quick grocery haul with you because I know you guys love that. I have a hive right here because I'm allergic to dust <laughs> and like moving around all this stuff in my closet, I don't know, brought out the hives. So that's always fun. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go head out to Whole Foods and show you guys what I got. So I'm back from Whole Foods. This is the quick grocery haul that I'm gonna do with you guys. Let's start over here. We have some chocolate almond milk, organic uh, unsweetened almond milk. We have an onion. We have some strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. I got two Fiji apples, two Granny Smith apples, an avocado two avocados, uh, two lemons, broccoli, bananas. Picked up this, I have no idea what it is, but I don't know, it, it looks okay. It was like in the cheese aisle, so I don't know, we'll try that out. I got two gingerade kombuchas, some mushrooms, a pineapple, and then I also picked up this, I've never had it before. It's like a healthier, no oil Caesar dressing, so I'm excited to try that out. I got these taco shells. These are like the best taco shells if you're trying to make tacos. Some spring mix. Noah's like obsessed with these. They're like coconut chips. So he wanted those, so I got some for him. I got some dark chocolate. This one is my favorite dark chocolate ever. Um, the salted toffee is just so good. I also got some of these random gummies. They're like alligator gummies. And then my guilty pleasure. I already ate half, actually. A chocolate chip cookie. So yeah, that's my weekly grocery haul. Noah actually went to a different grocery store and he picked up some stuff, so we are all stacked. Um, but this is actually a melon from Greece. Is that true? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. That's my grocery haul. Look what I just picked up. I got Burger Fi. Uh, this is the closest to Shake Shack that you're ever gonna get without actually getting Shake Shack. Shake Shack is like my ultimate place to get burgers, but I don't have one, so Burger Fi will have to do. It's pretty good though, it's pretty good. Um, they spelled my name wrong, but that's okay. But I'll show you guys what I got. So that's their regular fry. It's like huge, but the burger that I got is just a single patty cheeseburger, but it's the bread I feel like that does this. I'm I'm like into like the really thin, sorry, this wind is crazy. Fun. For me, what makes a good burger is that it has like a thin patty. I don't like toppings, so just plain cheese burger. Um, and then the bread, like I like a potato bun style bread where it's just like super soft. Um, but yeah, that's my lunch. I'm gonna eat it out here. It is such beautiful weather. It is a bit windy, but that's okay. Mm. So good. It's the same old story being told inside my head. I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man. This world
now that I am done officially cleaning, I feel so good. Like my whole closet is all reorganized. My place is like nice and fresh and clean. Now I am ready to plan out my week. I'm just gonna do the, you know, typical planning. If you guys want, I can do like a weekly plan with me. I know I do like monthly plan with me's, but if you guys are interested in how I plan my weeks, just let me know in the comments. I can definitely do that for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and just do that and show you guys what I have after. done planning my week i don't plan too much i like to just kind of give myself like a theme for the day whether that's filming or editing or doing my podcast so as you guys can see here i just wrote what i needed to accomplish work-wise on the top left um, and then i'm gonna leave a space here to put out my workouts i find it really hard to plan out my workouts like the week before so when i wake up the day of i'll figure out like what i'm doing and just write it down here to kind of remind myself to get my workout in. I like to work out Monday through Friday. Um, also, I'm going to challenge myself this week to run every single day. Um, I used to be able to run three miles and I don't know, I just feel like running was so therapeutic for me. And then I also made this like weekly habit tracker, if you will. So these are the things that I want to focus on this week and zone in on. And I'm just going to tally here. And then by the end of the week, I'll have five tallies for each one. NFF is nonfiction and fiction books. ACV is apple cider vinegar. Um, I've never really been into meditating too much. Like I'll meditate if I'm like ever feeling uncomfortable or something, but I want to try to make it a daily habit. Working out, SFP on the side. So that's stretching, foam rolling, or pull-ups. Running, which I explained to you guys. Um, if I'm getting enough water, making sure that I'm eating healthy, whole meals, and also like my teeth care morning and night. So that's kind of the little post notes that are going to be going with me throughout the week. I also put my intention on my desk. So usually if I have an intention for the week, I like to just put it here. The whole thing this week that I want to kind of zone in on is uh, challenging myself. So go past your comfort zone a little bit. And that's kind of like the intention that I have for this week. That's like what I'm feeling because last week was such a bad <laughs> week honestly for me so um i'm just gonna push myself to be better and do better for myself i also went ahead and filled out my video planner for the week i have a few videos coming out this week that i need to get done which i've kind of already put into my planner but by the end of the week it kind of looks a little something uh like this so it's kind of all over the place once i have like other things like little to do's that i need to add i'll just like write them underneath this but that's pretty much the gist of my weekly planning i don't know i just really like planning it makes me so happy so that's pretty much it for the vlog i'm going to end it here i'm going to relax and enjoy my sunday i want to give a huge thank you again to gold toe socks for sponsoring this video the socks are super comfortable and also super cute and kind of inspired this video of me getting like out with the old and in with the new i feel super refreshed i will link the giveaway information in the description box if you guys want to go ahead and enter thank you guys so so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys all in a future video bye guys